All right, welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We're looking at about 37 minutes after the hour, and I tell you now, as I've told you before, I have one of the greatest jobs in America because I get to sit next to some of the most incredible people that you've seen on TV. You've seen them win medals in the Olympics and do so many great things in their lives and get to know them a little bit. But this time we're going to be talking about a product that's going to help you as you teach your kids how to ski. Peekaboo Street is here with me this morning. Peekaboo, welcome morning. to the show. Thank you. And we've got Scott Coleman, the inventor and innovator of this incredible product that is going to help parents and ski schools and, and people that just love to get out and, and go skiing with their kids to make it safe and teach them how to control their speed. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you came up with this device and <laughs> what it's all about. Yeah. Two years ago, um, my little Oakley, uh, she... She's very, uh, very yeah. still. <laughs> She's very patient. She's a good little girl. <laughs> but two years ago, I was, uh, I was at Snow Basin, and I was uh, skiing backward, uh -huh. doing just what all the other parents and professionals were doing on the hill with these little tiny first-time skiers, holding their tips, keeping, keeping them together. And, and I just said to myself as I was bending over, there has got to be a better way to teach a little beginning skier the proper fundamentals of skiing while keep, keeping him safe and, and, and making it easier easier for me, but more importantly, fun for, for my little girl. Right. And I went home that night. I stopped at Home Depot. I bought a couple things, went in my garage, and started putting together an apparatus that would allow me to utilize tools that I already have while I ski, my ski poles, uh, to connect to my little girl so that I could do just that controller speed. Uh, and I was so surprised of the the parents and professionals that would then follow me down the mountain once I built the device and was using it of, where do we get that? That's mm -hmm. amazing. That's so much better than these ropes and reins and other apparatuses mm -hmm. that are currently on the market. And so really seeing that, that reaction from the market inspired me to take this to the next level and actually bring this to the ski industry. And we couldn't be happier to be sitting next mm -hmm. to, to a gold medalist that has a young family and um, the product speaks for itself. It's a, it's, it's a lot of fun. and. Um, we're glad to finally be here. Well, the great thing about it is, like you mentioned, it's all about safety and enjoyment because once your kids get that feel of, the, of moving their feet in the right position to control their speed, they can do it on their own. And Peekaboo, obviously nobody needs to talk to you about <laughs> skiing. And well, right. I know speed control wasn't something you were, you know, no. really known for. <laughs> thank goodness, right? Yes, no. But how did you get involved with this? Well, it's interesting because I had a lot of anxiety about teaching my little guys how to uh -huh. ski. I, I had, I had done the arduous task of, of helping my brother teach my niece and nephew how to ski and the thing I noticed the most with my nephew is he would literally turn into a noodle as soon as I would put my hands on him and try and kind of maneuver him at all and so I, the first thing I liked about this was the hands free you know you're attached from behind with your poles but I called my sister-in-law and I said I'm really nervous what should I do this year you know I'm gonna get the kids on snow and, and what should I do and she said oh there's an awesome new product out go check it out so I literally two days before my agent calls me mm -hmm. with with Scott having called her I had been online checking it out and seen the video and was like oh I'm so there so I was already kind of bought into it when Scott and I met and um, and then of course as soon as I got my hands on the product and I used it it was such hands down no-brainer like it is amazing how easy it is to connect with your child but not be not be hands-on with them right. you're there behind them and you can totally stop them you can push their skis out in both sides um, you can hold them in place and let them stand on a big steep pitch and lean forward and feel their skis mm -hmm. but the the basic concept is they get the feeling of skiing before they actually have to know how to do it it's kind of this back door and it takes about 30 seconds with a little one they're on it. They're just cruising, looking around. They're enjoying what we enjoy now as such good skiers. They're enjoying that already as their first time out there. And so for me, it was it was an absolute no-brainer, and I can't even tell you how excited I am. Now, you told me off camera that you actually were teaching one of your sons how to ski the gates with this. I was. I, yes, I, I, <laughs> I admit I have. <laughs> I, uh, I put him in the course, and it's so funny because at first he was a little bit like, okay, what's going to happen with this the first time through? And he just stood there and kind of let me maneuver him around the gates he was so comfortable that the next time through he was reaching down and actually hitting That's the gates funny. with his hands hitting him with his hands and having fun and playing and just was visibly so comfortable and so relaxed on his skis and I just it's so it's such a relief well, I know there's so many moms with that anxiety out you know, there and the great thing about this is that it's it's extremely easy to use yes. it's small yep. and it's effective so Scott why don't you go ahead and if you can kind of demonstrate how quickly these snap onto the front of the skis. Yeah, well, while we were innovating uh, hookies and, and enge our engineering team was, was ramping up and taking care of this criteria, 
uh, for what we needed the product to do, they said, hey, help us with already a proven concept and bring a, help us with a little better technology when it comes to a tip connector. And so with, um, with these tip connectors, the, tip, the ones you kind of see on the market involve a mm -hmm. thumb screw or right. those type of things, and they just said it would be nice not to take our gloves off. It would be nice to just uh, be able to flip it up, keep our gloves on, and easy on, easy off. Something that when it's on, it actually purchases into the ski and, you've and got, stays underneath. And you've got a little metal, little grip, little, yeah, whatever those little teeth that, that bite on the underneath side of the ski. So as the it's on the softer side. Yeah, the instructor, the parent professional, uh, clamps it down. It's as easy as that. Once it's on, it's and on. And it's a little, little bungee stretchy yep. in the middle. Yeah, it stretches. So it yep. gives when, when they're pressuring that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on the back, you've got the hookies, which goes along with this, so that as you're skiing behind your kids, as you were saying, Peekaboo, you can actually control the direction of the skis. Now, push it out into a wedge. Look how easy that is. It's, it's such cake. It's Look crazy. The balance. Wow, <laughs> I know, she is, she is really amazing. Balanced. She's amazing. You know what's, if, on our advisory board, we have, uh, we have racing coaches, ski uh -huh. racing coaches, along with Peekaboo and her expertise when it comes to skiing. But you, if you really look at what this system does and allows you to do through connecting with a rigid mechanism such as a ski pole, it allows the instructor to help the little beginner feel what a gold medalist feels when she goes through the gates right. of edging as, right. so as, gonna, as feeling control the that edges. motion. Yeah, sh I want you to show them. This is the thing that blew me out the most is yeah. just how easy you just roll your wrist mm -hmm. and that little hook moves in that slot oh, that's and cool, it literally yeah. tips the ski up on edge and gets the kid biting and and feeling that edge cut in the snow and they get so attracted to that and they want that feeling they love that feeling and the skis maneuver better and, and feel better to them to the, the bottom of your pole yeah. yes so you go in at a 90 to, to put them in mm -hmm. or out but the thing I like about it the most is your kids do end up falling down. They, sure. they end up falling down with this as well. And the thing that is so cool about it is you have it hooked in, you're maneuvering, your kid falls down. The way that, that Scott's designed it, you just drop your pole. You throw your poles and you go for your kid and your poles just stay behind and they're hooked in and they just kind of drag behind and then you're free to, to maneuver your, your child. Well, and these aren't permanent. These are clamped on the back as well. So as once they get, done, start to feel that, because the truth is, Kids pick up on this, their brains are like little sponges oh, yeah. and the muscle memory develops really so fast. quickly mm -hmm. right. that you can start to take it off and start talking about more of a parallel, but you can also s uh, simulate parallel with this as well. Right. Oh yeah, you can do a little hockey well, stuff with them. And, and the advantage too is, is, like we said, we made this device so it's easy on, easy off, and, uh, and it can fit, uh, we've made it to be universal, it fits, um, as to my knowledge right now, 95% I don't of think I've ever skis. seen, I've never seen the hookies concept. I've seen some, yeah. you know, some right. wedging apparatus, but not the hookies. And I think the big question that all of us that are skiers and, and have had kids, the big question is, when's the IPO? <laughs> I know. No, That's funny. what I've been telling I, I, I get two comments from people is, 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 do you need investors? And uh, why did I think of that? Yeah, so. really. I mean, really? Damn it, I should have no, come I, up with that. Yeah, myself. you're so right on. You're so right on because, honestly, it is a revolutionary product it's and it's the cool. and, it, and really if you think about it there's a lot of products offered to the marketplace out there for us skiers that are already established mm -hmm. this is the first time that there's a first time skier product for the marketplace and it's the first time that you know that us parents have had a spot to go and 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 change up the way we teach our kids right. how to ski safely safely so you're not yeah. having them on the range right. or holding them between your legs and if you fall you fall on them and this is such a such a safe way to do well, it well the thing that the kid is experiencing or anyone for that matter because there's you know we 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 taught JC 21 year old how to ski with it for her first time. So you can take an adult and use this product on them. And the thing that happens is they feel the, the movement of the sport from the ankles mm -hmm. where they're supposed to. That's right. where everything happens. It's right there at the ankles and the connection between the boot and the ski. And so this just, this just plays right into that. And they start experiencing what they're supposed to experience. And um, I mean, I, I dare to say we could really honestly see some really ripping little ski racers yeah, come out definitely. of getting up on edge this early in their skiing career. I think this is cool. Well, this is awesome. I think it's one of the neatest things yeah. I've ever been a part of. And I am really honored to be a part of Launchpad's team and um, to be a part of, of, you know, the hookies, wedgies. And then, you know, this is honestly the new harness system. 
You, you see yeah. people out there floundering with their kids and their harness systems and these loose reins and they're janking on them from the from the mm -hmm. core and they're and knocking they're them over almost. And all it. they're doing is inhibiting their child yeah. almost. You know, they feel like they're protecting them and whatnot. You know, so so. Uh, We've had a lot of moms tell us that the only other thing that they would want is some way to grab their kid and pick them up. So that's the next thing you can look for from us is, <laughs> is how are we going to lift them up off the ground and get a three-piece system like going here and we're straight. And yeah. yeah, a little go-go <laughs> gadget Man arm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of our advisors as well, he's, he's a well-known thought leader in the ski industry when it comes to teaching the fundamentals of skiing, is he ultimately just said, you can't push a rope. And yeah. if you look at these upper, other apparatuses, uh, they can be more challenging to use. And that's what the thought process went into this of how can we make this more intuitive right. for the learner yep. and the instructor? Well, the focus isn't to restraint. The focus is actual movement. Yeah, Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and if you do need to hold them back, if you do need to stop them, you just pull them back. You just pull them back and you just kind of keep them from going too fast. Right. Like I found out when, when I was working with um, Xander, he wanted to turn around and talk to me. And every time he went to turn around, he'd catch that outside edge sure. and go to fall. I would just stop. I would literally just stop and let him turn around and keep him balanced and then as soon as he was ready to go again, I would look forward and I would have him go again. And mm -hmm. so it was it was amazing how Well and this is something that you would pass down too. If you've got absolutely you know, kids that are spaced mm -hmm. out, you could have mm -hmm. maybe a couple of these and, and take everybody out, yeah. but they're gonna grow out of them fast. So yeah. all right, so right there, I think. where where can we find this product. So right now we're getting phone calls from ski schools, we're getting phone calls from retailers beginning to want to carry it. Uh, but right now you can get it at launchpadgear.com. Let's That's move this back just a little bit. He's kind of he, she, it. Yeah. It's covering up your... <laughs> there we go. Good little girl. <laughs> Stay. Good little girl. Stay. Uh, <laughs> you can get it at launchpadgear.com. Okay. And you can buy it as, as a kit. Um, but we've shipped products so far all over the world in Europe, uh, and uh, it's been pretty exciting. So you don't to see. have this so in any any stores yet. We just turned made product available about three weeks ago, oh, and so okay. retailers retailers are beginning to contact us and say, "Hey, parents are asking where we where do we get this product?" So, but right now you can get it at launchpadgear.com or check with your local retail store okay. and ask them uh, if they have it. So well, it's not going to be long. That this is going to be the yeah. standard. This yeah, is really cool. this is for sure going to be the standard. Yeah. Absolutely, this well, will be the way that people teach their children how to ski. And right now we're working with all the ski schools, so all the way from Beaver Mountain down to Sundance, especially lo locally here in Park City, mm -hmm. uh, the canyons, uh, uh, and a few other, uh, 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 Park City using wedgies. and uh, Deer Valley instructors are stoked because they have to take that wedgies off every time they put the kid on the chairlift. They have right. to pop one side off. Right. Now they don't have to get down on the knee, take the glove off, you know, do the little screw thing. Now they just pop it and, and off they go. Well, yeah, I teach at Brighton and that's one of the problems we have with the apparatus we use is your hands get mm -hmm. cold and wet mm -hmm. and you still have to take them off every time you get on the lip. Yeah. But this is awesome. This is, this is going to change the way we teach and the way that kids learn and it's so fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations, Scott. You've got I a agree. great product Thank here. you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Please let me know when yeah. the IPO can be done. <laughs> Peekaboo, it's a thrill to meet you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Really Are you nice. going to be doing some I skiing while you're in town? I have been, yes. I have been and I will be, and uh, I have a big winter scheduled, and so I'm really excited to actually be like, <gasps> kind of up out of the the, the baby world, I yeah. mean, and um, you know, getting getting out and about. I Ooh. called the the races this weekend from Lake Louise when Lindy, Lindsay did right. her trifecta, and um, so yeah, I'm I'm kind of you're really good you friends know. with Lindsay, aren't you? Yes, very close. Yeah. Maybe the two of you should come in and we could, uh, me, when I say we, I mean me, could interview you and okay. talk about skiing okay. when she's got some downtime. Sounds First, like a deal. You don't have to bring her if you don't want to. You can no, just I can back. come with her. All right. Sounds Scott, good. Scott, sorry. You're out of this. <laughs> thanks for the opportunity. Well, thanks for coming in, guys. Peekaboo. We're going to get some me. pictures and really excited <clears throat> to see how yeah. this thing is going to take off and change the industry as we know it. Yes, sir. It sure Congratulations. Is. Thank you. Very thanks good. for having nice us. Thanks for having us. All right. We're going to be coming right back with the Mountain Morning Show right after this. So stay right there.